Hi, I'm Joe from Pat and Penny, and you're watching Camera Effect Promotions. And I'm Cheyenne, and also over here. <laughs> and I'm talking over this. Nice. <laughs> you nailed it. Alright, so I have a couple of questions. Um, so, how are you guys doing so far with touring? What you got? Great, man. We're not really touring right now because we're making. We're making an album, a new album, and um, it's, we did a tour of water parks in England in, um, in March, and then uh, we played a couple weird shows here and there, but we're just working on an album, and we'll get back to England later this year, and then we'll release some music here, and we'll see what happens. Nice, nice. Sounds like a fun time. Not bad. My wife just had twins. Nice. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, so, what inspired you to start a career as a musician, and what age did you, like, get interested in music? What made you not be a musician? We have a song called There Was a Time, mm -hmm. on an album called Brighter, and that's about when I was four years old, my dad made me a tape of music videos that I was allowed to watch. And I was really into it then. And I broke my ankle and had nothing to do, so I taught myself how to play guitar. Oh no. Yeah. That's it. That's the whole thing. Fair enough. It's the best way to learn, though. So, yeah. It's because you got nothing to do. Yeah. Um, so. And I couldn't play anybody else's song, so I started writing my own. Fair enough. That's, that's actually really awesome, though. Story checks out. What was your first one that you wrote and released? It was called Lollipop Ring. It wasn't the first one that was released, but it was the first one I wrote, and it was eventually released. It is horrific. The words are, when I first met you at the Donut King and I gave you my lollipop ring, yeah, I thought that it was love at first sight, but then I realized that I was not right. Don't write me, don't call me, email me, we're history. Don't care about your ego, have fun with Rodrigo. It is so bad. But it's funny. It's the way you're doing it. I'm sure. It's bad. <laughs> So for someone who's never like heard of your band or heard your sound, um, explain to them like what is what your band's about and what your first sound is about. Um, songs to listen to. Our sound is bizarre because it, it varies so much between rock and punk and pop and Motown and twain weird like semi country like everything. We play everything. Um, we're the weirdest band of all time. We love to have fun. We do a lot of anti-suicide stuff, and we say dude in a lot of our songs. If you're new to the gang, I check out the songs Hey Mario, Douchebag, and Brighter. You should be pretty, you'll get it by then. You'll get it. It's either for you or it isn't. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Um, so, what's your first concert you went to? Um, the Ninja, I went to a Ninja Turtles concert. What it was about? What was what? What was it about? They were a rock band. Yeah, it was awesome. Oh. They had flying Z guitars. Oh jeez. And they fought evil while they were doing it. was great. Wow. <laughs> Sounds like a fun time. It was great time. <laughs> So, what is the state, city, or country you would like to uh, visit on a, on a tour? Well, we toured in a lot of them, but we haven't toured in Japan yet. I'd like to go to Japan. Same. That'd be great. Yeah. Maybe next year. <laughs> he said, knowingly. Um, What's been your best show or tour to date? Um, or favorite? We played a festival called Download Festival in England. It's 100,000 people. And we were the only stage that was covered by a tent. It's an outdoor festival and it started pouring two minutes before we went on stage. So it was crazy. And then we did Soundwave Festival in Australia, which is a tour, and that was incredible. I'm sure. Australia is awesome. Yeah. I haven't been, but I want to. So what can we expect with the new music, the new album? Um, if you're not moving forward, you're not, if you're not moving forward, you're not moving at all. So we'll do something new, but I think it's going to lean more towards rock than pop. Is what I think. <laughs> but you never know, kids. It could be a poker record. I went straight to the Botanic Garden.
Here's hoping. <laughs> Favorite venue to perform at? Um, I love a place called Rock City in yeah. Newcastle, England. Yeah. I love. I love the place called um, the. Uh, oh man. Rob, what's the name of the place in Leeds that closed? The cockpit. the cockpit. I knew it had something to do with flying. I was gonna say the uh, the landing pad, which is not correct. Um, yeah, that was an incredible place. It was like a big tube. It was cool. Um, I don't know. I like a lot of stuff. That's fair. No. Um, my favorite. Great new shirt, Rob. Thank you. I'm at a B&B store in Seaside Park. I'm doing an interview. You stop it. What's the plug for B&B? They hooked me up. B&B hooked them up. What's up? So my favorite venue in Cincinnati is probably Bogart's. Yeah, we played there last year with Summer Plan. It was great. It was a really good show. Yeah, I wanted to go, but I think I was busy. I was probably working. Makes sense. Always. Um, anything to say to your fans? Thanks, guys. We're doing it. Tell other people, too. <laughs> and look out for new music and follow us on the internet. And I hope you're doing great. We did it. I'll see you later. Bye.